My name is Dave and I'm a co-play frontier from the Genesis group. As you can see, it is 1 a.m. Okay, after this video, I'm going to upload it on YouTube and I am going to sleep. So, yeah. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like and the subscribe. I would appreciate that. Now, I do have some co-play news. Uh, CoCoin got listed on ZB.com. Okay, and so I went ahead and found, um, yeah, I found their website. All right, and I, yeah, they have an app. You could download the app. And so if you go look at search, hit KOK, go and bow. All right, so yeah, and you can margin trade up to three times. So there you go, CoCoin once again is on the move because of the popularity, because of the growth, because of its performance. Uh, not just as a currency, as a you know CoCoin currency, the asset, but you know obviously you have more exchanges trying to get <laughs> CoCoin on their exchanges, or they would want CoCoin on their exchanges because they see the trading volume. But when they look at CoCoin, the platform, uh, they look at K Stadium. They look at, you know, Mr. Cho and everyone involved. Um, they see that is a is a winner and it's going to survive the bear market. And once again, CoCoin gets on another exchange. The people on those exchanges will, you know, um, they're going to be interested. In what is CoCoin? And they'll look it up and then you'll have more people, you know, Join the Coke Play family like that. So that is incredibly good news. Now, <clears throat> I do want to explain to you guys what happened to Luna. And if you look at Luna on uh, Binance, it's about one cent. If you look at Luna on KuCoin, it's at sixth of one cent. All right, and you know, if you look at it, it was once $119. What Luna is, is a cryptocurrency. And this cryptocurrency is logarithmically tied to UST. So let's go over here. What is UST? UST is a stable coin, okay? And so if you look at UST, Terra UST, which is, you know, right now is number 18 in how much is getting traded, uh, is supposed to be a stable coin. As you know, as a stable coin is, a, is supposed to be one US dollar, but it's not set up like Tether. If you look at Tether USDT, for every tether, there's one dollar in a bank that backs up a tether coin. So if I say here, here's tether, okay? This is, yeah. Um, for every tether, if there's a trillion tethers, then there's a trillion dollars. One, you know, a trillion US dollars backing. So for every tether coin, there's one US one US dollar supporting it. Now, Terra USD, UST right here is a different system. The way Terra works is it's supposed to be worth one dollar, but you don't have a US dollar backing it. What you have is you have, oh, why do I keep doing that? What you have is you have a Terra Luna is algorithmically connected to a Terra Luna, and you see right now it's worth one cent, right, on CoinGecko. So if you want to buy it, uh, and I'm not, once again, I'm not your financial advisor, I'm not telling you what to do, I am telling you what I did, and I did, you know, buy just a very small percentage uh, of Terra Luna, because it was once at $119. Do I think it's going to go back up? Yeah. Do I think it could get lower? Yeah, it could be a tenth of a cent. Right now it says one cent but it can go as low as a tenth of a cent even lower uh, but eventually what i do expect is i expect the ust 
the Terra UST to go back to being worth one dollar that in time it will be pegged to a dollar instead of being 39 cents because if you look at it let's just look at a 90 day chart it was worth a dollar you see how it's all just stabled at one dollar 30 day chart stabled at one dollar 14 day chart stable at one dollar seven day chart uh it was still stable at a dollar right so the way this works is what I mean by algorithmically um, linked to Terra coins is as more people use the UST um, stable coin to, you know, maybe hold on to and wait to, you know, they will buy Bitcoin with it or other coins or they just continue to use UST, the, then algorithmically it'll connect to the Terra blockchain and it'll burn Terra coins okay the Luna coins right here and because you're burning more coins because more people are using UST the the stable coin then you will have less Terra coins available but you will still have a, the the market cap, okay? This was like a market cap that was in the billions of dollars, okay? And so as more coins are just getting burned while the market cap is the same, the value of Terra Luna will go up. And that's why at one time it was at, you know, $119, okay? Let's just look at it from a 30-day. What was it worth 30 days ago? You know, at one point, even at 30 days ago, it was worth almost $100. You look at it at a 90-day chart, you know, it was at $119 or something like that, okay? And what happened is you have some players where they kind of figured out, you know, because you have competition in the blockchain industry, right? And you have other platforms that are doing something similar. Or whatever the case is, the way I looked at it is, is they attacked the UST Terra system. And what they did is they bought a bunch of UST, okay? Which means it burned Terra coins, all right? So let's look at it from a 30-day chart, okay? And so, you know, somewhere down the line, they bought lots of Terra, okay? I mean, UST, which algorithmically will burn Terra coins, which would raise the value of Luna coins. And then what they did is all at one time, okay, uh, and it's not like a bunch of players. It's probably just, you know, two, three, four, just a handful of players. What they did is they decided to sell the UST coins all at one time. So you had one person, I heard they sold like 220 $230 million worth of UST coins at one time, and another person sold about 190. So you I think, you know, don't get me, I I just I you know I, I don't remember the number specifically, but you're talking about within two wallets, you know, or two groups or two people, whatever, they sold four hundred million dollars worth of Terra UST coins. And what that did, it, it algorithmically forced Terra Luna, okay, to create a bunch of Terra Luna coins. All right? And because it burned, a, I mean, it created a bunch of Terra Luna coins, well, if the market cap is the same, but you have a all of a sudden, they created all these coins to off balance the sell off. Okay, because now you have less people using UST, which will create more Terra coins to balance it out. Then what happened is, well, the value of Terra Luna coins went down. And then as it went down, 
Well, then people started selling. People who held Terra coins, Terra Luna, started selling because I'm. They're not holding. They're like, what the heck? Why is it going down? Why? Why is it creating so many coins and the price going down? So now people are selling it all at once. They're dumping the coins. They're dumping the coins. Okay, and you just people are just selling off, selling off, selling off, to where you get the price that you have now, where something that was, even you know, just seven days ago. 80 something dollars 14 days ago just 14 days ago a hundred you know okay whatever maybe not a hundred but anyway you know close to a hundred dollars within 30 days okay 14 days it was still 80 dollars seven days ago so 80 dollars boom first because some a couple people or a couple groups sold 400 million dollars of ust algorithmically forced the Ter um, Terra Luna to create that many coins to offset the lack of users because they sold it off, which violently forced the price of Terra coins to go down. And then if you're a holder, you don't want to hold on to it as you see it going down. So now you have a sell-off. So now you have a bunch of people selling off. And that's what happened. And that's why, you know, Terra Luna prices went down. Okay. And right now, a UST, which is supposed to be pegged to a dollar, is only at 36 cents. Okay. And you see it's continuing to go down. Now, what Terra did is they used to have, uh, what did they have? They have Bitcoin, like they have billions of dollars of Bitcoin to support, to support the UST. And it wasn't supposed to be that UST was pegged to Bitcoin or that, you know, uh, you sell and whenever Terra needed, UST needed it, they'll get $1 out of Bitcoin because then, you know, they'll sell Bitcoin for that. No, what Bitcoin was, was... In case of a situation where they, you had too many people selling Terra USD or UST, uh, then Luna, the the administrative side, will sell some Bitcoin to buy UST to re-raise to stabilize UST to make it a dollar to re-rate, you know, to rate pump it up. Okay. And however, what happened was around when UST was at $30, uh, they started selling off all their Bitcoin, you know, uh, if they, cause you know, yeah, if they would have waited till maybe Terra Luna was $3 instead of at $30. And then they started selling off buying UST with it, which will increase, you know, the use case, increase the amount of UST coins being used, which algorithmically would have burned off Terra Luna coins. So you could have a better pump from $3 instead of at $30. So they, 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 they had like a gun with one bullet and they shot the bullet too fast, basically, you know, it's what they did. Um, but, and so that's what you have and that's what you have now. Don't worry, for what I know, CoCoin is nothing like that. Okay, you know, you don't have a stable coin uh, that CoCoin is linked to that's, you know, is algorithmically um, connected to each other to, you know, stabilize and support each other. No, it, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Um, and yeah, what if you see the rank right now? Uh, Terra UST is at rank 20, right? At one time, maybe this was a top 10 coin. And Terra Luna was a top 5 coin. And at the same time, right? Maybe they were both at a top 7 rank at one time together. Who knows? Or top 5, who knows? But what's, I, what I imagine is if you see... Eventually, Terra USD will probably stabilize back to a dollar. Now, the question is, even though it stabilizes back to a dollar, will it bring in the same investor, the same users to 
to uh, to use UST or support Terra Luna to to raise Terra Luna back to $119? I don't know. However, do I think that a coin that was once $119 and, you know, you look at Binance or, or, or well, okay, at CoCoin, you just saw it. The thing was like, you know, half a penny, less than half a penny now is at 1.5 cents. So it had a pretty good bounce right here. Uh, what What is it worth on Binance? Okay, it's getting up to $2. All right, and once again, do I think that, you know, you buy some now and not a whole lot because you don't know what's going to happen. You just, you never know. But do I think that it can go back to, you know, Luna, go back to two, three, four, five, I don't know, ten, fifteen dollars $15, whatever, 5 to $15 in the next, you know, three to five months? Yeah, sure, I think so. And, you know, I did. I bought some Luna back when it was, you know, like, uh, you know, on, I probably, I, on average, overall, less than half of a penny. Okay. And I didn't buy a lot. Obviously, I didn't jump the gun. That's not how I, I, I invest. You know, I just, small percentage. And I figure, yeah, you know what? If it does go up to, you know, anywhere between whatever, three to 15 plus dollars in the next, you know, five months, wonderful. Uh, because I don't see them going bankrupt and running. Okay. I see them, they're going to continue. Uh, so do I think Luna right now is a good investment? It is because I, I bought some. Now, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. Okay, I'm just telling you what I'm doing, and I gave you the reasons why. I think uh, UST will recover, and I think Luna will obviously not recover to $119 or even $80, but yeah, it, it, you know, it'll go into the dollars is what I'm expecting in the next like five months, you know. And if you bought something at less than a penny, and it's like, you know, in the dollars or even maybe 10 past ten dollars well what did you do you like thousand times your whatever you put in right but obviously i didn't buy a lot i didn't you know just just a little because you know if you lose it it's like i take my friend out to eat or you know i yeah i i drink I take my coworkers out for a cup of coffee and it's like that, you know? Okay, then I just don't take my friend out to eat one time or I don't take my coworkers for a cup of coffee one time. This covers that. However, what if it goes up, you know, dollars to over $10? Well, I just like thousand times my money, right? And so that's the risk to reward, you know? Um, yeah, so I th obviously I didn't put a lot. Uh, but do I think is a is a good time to buy a little Luna? Um, I did. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm telling you what I did. And I just explained to you what happened to Luna. I do think Luna's gonna survive. Okay. Um, and yeah, they'll manage. They'll manage. But will do, will I? Do I think I'll see a a hundred nineteen dollar Luna? No, not anytime soon. That's for sure, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it went down a lot. So, and do I think UST, do I think this will stabilize back to $1? Yeah, I think so. It'll eventually sta stabilize to $1. But it's all about the trust issue. Do people trust it? And will it bring back the same enthusiasm and investors and all that use case usage for it from people? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, but I think it'll survive. So there you have it. Uh, once again, Bitcoin got, uh, no, not Bitcoin, I'm sorry. Uh, KuCoin got listed into another exchange, which is excellent news. Okay. And I told you what happened to Luna in case you were wondering, because I'm sure a lot of you are. And that's what happened to Luna. All right. All right, everyone. 
Um, please stay healthy. Take a physical care of yourself, mental care of yourself, spiritual care of yourself. Surround yourself around the right people. And, you know, you want to prepare for worst case situations with more inflation, uh, you know, possible food shortages. So you might want to buy some extra food and, uh, you know, surround yourself with good people. OK, good, caring people. All right. And yeah, pray for the Ukrainian and Russian citizens. And hopefully all these politicians around the world will get their act together because their horrible decisions are making things bad for us. <laughs> You know, unfortunately, we suffer. We don't cause wars. As citizens, we don't cause wars. Unfortunately, politicians on both sides do. That's the problem. So, yeah, pray that, uh, you know, these politicians will get their act together. All right, everyone. Love you guys. Praying for y'all. Okay. Praying for y'all in Jesus' name. Uh, God bless y'all. And coke on.